guys. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> we really miss you guys. We hope you're having a good time at home. We can't wait to see you guys back at club. Um, but for now, we're making this video to show you some fun activities you can do while you're at home. Before we start, my name's Katie. My name is Katie as well. So double Katie's today. Um, but before we start, we really want you guys to use some hand sanitizer or even wash your hands if you guys don't have hand sanitizer. We always say here at club to use soap when you wash your hands and make sure that you clean both sides of your hands. And while you're doing it, sing the ABCs or something like that just to make sure that you get all those germs off before you play this game. So I'm gonna let Katie talk and tell you guys what we're doing for our activity today. Yeah, awesome. So the game that we're playing today is called Ball Drop, okay? For this game, you're gonna need two balls and it's really important that when you're using any kind of like equipment or supplies for anything that you're doing today, make sure that you clean them, you sanitize them. Um, and then if you're sharing with somebody else, make sure that their hands are clean as well. Um, if somebody new comes into your game, make sure that you are sanitizing and cleaning them again. Um, so let's get started. The name of the game is called Ball Drop. Um, you're going to need two people. Um, you're going to start by facing your person. And we want to be about maybe an arm length or two apart, right? Um, if you are the dropper, like myself, you are holding the balls. If you are the catcher, you are standing the distance away. The catcher is going to be the one moving today. The object of the game is to catch the ball um, and to get the most amount of points. There's going to be five three to five rounds, um, and then in each round, there's gonna be five drops. You want as many points as you can get. Um, so I'm gonna be the dropper, and I'm gonna hold the balls out to the side like this. Um, we're gonna start by letting the ball drop and bounce once, and then she can catch it. If she catches it that first time, she can get one point. Um, are you ready, Katie? I'm ready. Beautiful, all right. So you're gonna keep your eye on the ball, and I'm only dropping one ball at a time. Good, so she caught the ball. So that is one point, all right? Now, as time goes on, you can say, okay, well, she that was really easy for her, so we're not gonna let it bounce and she has to catch it first. We can take steps further apart. We can take steps closer together. But again, no matter what, we wanna stay far apart, making sure that um, we are keeping to ourselves. Are you ready for the next point, Katie? I'm ready. Okay. Good job. Awesome. When she retrieves the ball, it goes back to the catcher. So that was two times. Good. Three points. Four points. <laughs> five points. Woo! So those are the five drops. And now it's Katie's turn to drop the balls. Awesome. All right? Ready? I'm ready. Oh, okay. Good job. Good job, Katie. Two points. Two points. Two points. Three points. Oh, oh four points. Okay. okay, last one. Last one. Oh, yeah, good five job. points. Good, good job. job. So then after each round, we can do it no drops, or we can even take further steps apart. <laughs> But yeah, so at the end of how many rounds you do, whoever has the most amount of points wins the game. And you can also do this as partner challenges if you have more people to play with. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure that you guys subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And hopefully we'll see you back at club soon. Awesome. Thank Bye. you so much.